Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Um, welcome to my channel. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button for me real quick. Uh, that really helps grow the channel and helps us improve our videos. And also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. Also, any feedback you guys provide is greatly appreciated. I answer all of my comments very quickly. Uh, so if there's anything you want to see more of, please reach out to me, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Again, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, bring another video here. So I wanna focus a little bit more on recreational kayaks. Uh, this is our recreational room. I split them up here in two rooms. So recreation and fishing. So biggest difference between the two is your recreational kayaks. They tend to be a little lighter. They're a little better typically on moving water. And they're just designed to float, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the surroundings. Your fishing kayaks are gonna be typically longer, typically wider, uh, a little heavier. They're going to have fishing accessories uh, and fishing features built in with the kayak. So it's what I would call more fishing ready from the factory. Um, less accessories needed, but they do carry a higher price because again, they're going to be a little beefier, a little better weight capacities to them. Um, then, you know, those are also going to be your pedal drive kayaks, uh, your hunting and fishing but you kind of get where I'm going at on that. But uh, the kayak I want to focus on today is the Wilderness Systems Tarpon 105. Um, the last probably five to 10 years, that's easily been our best-selling kayak uh, for the area we're in. So again, we're, we're very lake heavy and river and stream heavy. Um, this kayak comes in at 55 pounds. It's got a 325 pound weight capacity. Uh, this here is the breeze blue color. Uh, it does come in a variety of colors. So to show you the wilderness system color schemes, um, this one here on this boat you see is called Midnight. It's kind of a blue and black blend. You've got Galaxy here, this kind of blue, green, yellowish. And then you see the other tarp in here, it's this mango. So orange, red, uh, but this one here, uh, breeze blue, been a really popular color as well. Uh, but go over some of the features here. Um, again, the biggest thing is the boat weight. Uh, if you're looking at a recreational kayak, you wanna look forward to taking it out. You don't wanna dread loading it and unloading it. 55 pounds is pretty good. Uh, it's actually excellent for a 10 and a half foot kayak. Uh, if you're familiar with the Tarpon series, um, they used to make the Tarpon 100. I believe they stopped making that in 2019, maybe 2020, but I think 2019 is when they quit doing that. They added six inches to the length. They widened it a little bit. It's a little bit more what I would call beginner friendly. Maybe uh, it's not as tippy. You're going to feel a lot more stable in it, but you're still not sacrificing the maneuverability of your kayak. With a recreational kayak, as with a fishing kayak, stability and maneuverability are going to be your balancing act. Uh, if you're if you're if you're given to one, you're usually taken away from the other. The Tarpon series does really well with both of those features. Again, it's stable enough, but it's also maneuverable enough to where you don't feel like you're paddling around a big battleship. But uh, starting at the front here, uh, really nice comfort grip handles. Uh, it's kind of a harder plastic. Again, be careful with how hard you uh, you work that when you're tying stuff down to a you know, say the back of a truck. Don't go too tight on that, but they're going to last a little bit longer than the fabric rubber grip handles. Because again, what's the worst enemy to plastic and fabric? It's water and direct sunlight. If you're storing it outside, consider doing it upside down or cover it with a tarp. Uh, they sell a lot of boat covers and, and a lot of that, but still, you're going to be fine with that, just upside down or covered with a tarp. It also keeps water from getting in your hatches. Anyway... Um, Pretty small uh, front 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 storage hatch. Um, they do sell this boat in a 12 foot version. The cockpit is the same size on the 12 footer. You just have a much longer nose and a much longer rear end for storage. The hatch instead of the smaller square hatch on the 12 footer is going to be your larger round hatch. But that's the biggest difference with the tens versus the twelves on both fishing and wreck kayaks. Your cockpit is not the, not going to be larger, so the longer kayaks aren't for taller paddlers, and the shorter kayaks are not for smaller paddlers. It's really kind of dependent on what you're needing to use it for. But I will say this: the 12 foot kayaks are going to handle a lot better with your paddling performance. You're going to be a lot more efficient. It may not turn as quick. Think of it as a uh, four door sedan versus a little two door car. 
Uh, that two-door car is going to go around the curves really quickly. It's going to turn a lot better. Your four-door sedan, it may be a little more comfortable. It may be an easier ride if you're going, you know, a longer distance there. So keep that in mind. Again, it depends on your use and what you're intending for that kayak. Um, so you do have a really nice little paddle holder here. Um, that's just a little wheel, a little roller wheel. You can slide your blade into there and uh, kind of kick it out to the side here maybe. Uh, it's really meant is just is you're, if you're drifting and you're wanting to relax a little bit, it just kind of gives you something to put your where it gives you somewhere to put your paddle instead of across your lap or something. Uh, so one thing that they did change on the 105s versus the 100s. So, oh, sorry about that. So they do come with this little waterproof box. So this is waterproof. Uh, it is. Uh, it. it it comes off, it attaches to the boat. Uh, it's a good place to put your phone, keys, and your wallet, and it will float. Uh, it also comes with this little strap. So this strap's kind of a neat thing. So it's an adjustable Velcro strap, and it's got this little magnetic piece on it, which goes on this metal. And it's a good, it's a good connection. So that will hold your, your bigger tumblers. And so if you got a tumbler in there, it's gonna lay like that, kind of at an angle. You just grab it drink and then set it back down so your tumbler's not running around rolling around in the uh the you know in your in your deck here um you know that'll hold a you know your bigger 30 ounce tumblers but it'll also hold a little water bottle uh, but neat thing there uh it's also really easy to lose if you don't keep track of it too but uh getting on down here you've got these little pockets here for small storage that could be anything um I think that kind of was left over from the old 100s. The Tarpon 100 had that little rubberized uh, netting that you can store small items in there, but they, these are just little pockets. The seat is kind of the star of the show when it comes to wilderness systems. So the seat is virtually unchanged. They've made little tweaks to it over the years, but that seat is very, very comfortable. It's one of the best on the market, in my opinion. It's a nice breathable fabric, so it's not mesh. The, the fabric is mesh, but it's got a lot of foam padding in it, so it is comfortable. And for a fixed position seat, that's where you're starting to see, even here, you're starting to see a lot of these companies are going to that frame style seating, which is great. This one here, it allows you to sit down in the hull a little bit better. You get a little bit more control, but it's fully adjustable. So this little strap here, Pulling up on that, it's going to raise this and lock it in. And then to reset it, these little tabs here, you push down on those, and the weight of your legs is going to put the seat back in the original position. This strap here, you pull in, you know, in and out. That is going to raise your lumbar support up and down. And then obviously your straps here on the side, that's going to help, you know, bring it forward to a straight up position or to recline it back in a more relaxed position. But I always tell people on this, uh, fixed position seat, but fully adjustable. You're going to want an adjustable seat because think about if you're going on a long car ride, say a few hours, and a lot of you go on these multi-hour, even multi-day float trips, you really need to consider that because even in a, the, most, uh, the most comfortable leather seat, you're still going to want to maneuver around. You're still going to want to shift your weight around because you begin to get uncomfortable there. That allows you to do that with a fixed position seat. On the back here, you've got a really nice, really deep tank well for storage. It also has this little mesh that uh, attaches to these snaps. I've got it removed here because I was really wanting to focus on the layout of that. So it's really deep. That is where your cooler goes. So it's got it where you can, it's kind of a crisscross design. You can see the cutout here goes kind of the length of the boat or side to side. Uh, 25 quart cooler is we'll use it what I suggest for that. Wilderness also sells a, a tackle crate. They just call it the Wildy Crate. That fits perfectly in there. That's what it's designed for. You've also got these little pad eyes that you can run straps or bungee over the cross to secure that stuff in there. Uh, nice comfort grip handle on the back. And then also you've got the little divot here. They sell a rudder kit for these. Um, whether you want that or need that on a 10-foot uh, a kayak, that's up to you and the water you're on. It's really nice on the 12-footer. It also allows you to control your drift. So if you are drifting, it allows you to, you know, the ability to kind of steer your kayak around. But again, 
been one of the best on the market. Um, I would dare to say that's one of the best-selling recreational sit-on kayak, sit kayaks on the market today. Uh, there's a lot of good quality kayaks out there. The Tarpon series has just been on the market for so long. There's such a, uh, a huge following with them. And then also, you know, you talk to somebody and say, yeah, I had a Tarpon, you know, 10 years ago. They've been making them that long, and they've really kind of made some improvements on that. So the MSRP on the Tarpon this year is going to be $1,079 from Wilderness Systems. Um, again, the specs on it, 55 pounds. It's got a 325-pound max. It comes in at 10 foot 6 inches, and it's 32 inches wide. So that's the Tarpon 105. Um, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, um, any concerns on it, or uh, any additional, you know, do some of you have this kayak? Do you have experience with this kayak? Uh, drop it in the comments. Let us know. Uh, share some of your stories. It could help somebody that's looking at the kayak and then maybe uh, address some of their concerns on it as well. But uh, as always, I'm always available for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.